five. Okay. Woo. All right, so guys, only doing one leg. Look how out of breath I am. All right, friends don't let friends skip leg day, right? Have you heard that before? Nobody likes leg day. Well, why is that? Because they're a huge muscle group. And when you push them really hard, it's painful, okay? Um, if you don't push them very hard, if you just kind of go through the motions, it's no big deal, all right? Nobody would hate leg day if you didn't put a lot of effort into it. So we, we are not going to do that. I'm going to show you how to use drop sets on a leg day. Now, guys, when you're at the gym doing this and you have all this equipment, especially the equipment with the select weight pins, you just pull the pin out and put it in a different number on that stack, that's a fantastic way to do drop sets. We don't have that luxury here at home. So I'm going to show you some workarounds on how to really ramp up the intensity, crank that thing up on leg day. And we're going to be doing three different exercises here. Two of them we're going to be doing with dumbbells. The last one, squats, we're going to be doing with bands. So I want you guys just to follow along and I'm going to show you a few tricks on how to get a ton of intensity into a leg workout. The first exercise today are going to be step ups with dumbbells. Now, there's a certain way I want you to do this today because specifically we're trying to do drop sets. Now, a lot of times, when we're doing step, step ups with dumbbells, you might want to be alternating legs. You know, right leg down, left leg up, down, right leg up, down, etc. Problem is that doesn't work very well when we want to incorporate the drop set technique. So we're going to be focusing exclusively on one leg. Okay, we're going to do our drop sets. We're going to be out of breath. I'm going to have a hard time talking to you and explaining afterwards. Then we're going to rest and then we're going to do the other leg. Okay, so that's what we're going to do here. So I'm, I started off with a heavy weight. All right, so I want you to pick a heavy weight that you can only do 10 to 12 times. Now the problem is, guys, when we're at home, our legs are big, strong muscle groups and you may not have a lot of weight. You may not have some real heavy dumbbells, okay? So you get, you're just going to have to kind of make do with what you have, okay? So I have a couple of 50s here, all right? So that's 100 pounds I'm going to be doing step ups with. And then I'm going to drop the weight, okay, after the first 10 to 12 reps, and I'm going to drop it by about 20 to 25 percent. Then I'm going to do another five or six reps, come down, drop the weight again, another 20 to 25 percent, not pounds, percent, and then I'm going to do four, five, six reps, okay? So that would be considered a double drop set. I'm dropping the weight twice. All right, let's just follow along here and I'll show you how to do it. All right, so I like to just step up, back down, and I'm going to leave my foot up here, okay? If you want to bring it down and put it back up, fine with me, but that's just kind of unnecessary movement. You're not really accomplishing anything. So two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. All right, let's drop the weight. I'm going to go from 50 down to 40. All right, very little rest. One, two, three, four. Drop it again from 40 now to 30. Let's do 30s. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. All right, so guys, only doing one leg. Look how out of breath I am. So let me explain, but first, I gotta catch my breath. All right, so guys, whether you know it or not, we're working a ton of muscles besides just 
our lower body and besides just your right leg. All right, so that's why I'm still out of breath. So when you're stepping up, of course we're working our quads, you're getting your hamstrings and your glutes involved. Those are huge muscles. This is a compound exercise. Multiple muscle groups, multiple joints. All right, but guess what else? You're having to hold these heavy dumbbells, okay? So you're getting a lot of forearm muscles involved, okay? And then also I'm having to control these heavy dumbbells going up and down. That means my entire core is really contracting, okay? Because I'm having to stabilize. All that weight is really directed through to my legs, through my upper body, okay? It's not attached at my hips. All right, that weight is attached to my arms, shoulders, and then down through my torso, through my core, to my lower body. So you're getting tons of different muscles at the same time. And hence, you get out of breath, and then also, because we're doing drop sets, you're gonna start feeling that burn. That's that lactic acid building up in the muscles. Great, that's what we want. That's what sends signals to our brain to ramp up production of human growth hormone and testosterone. So guys, give yourself a breather. All right, then we gotta do the other leg. All right, so I don't want you going from the right leg, barely, barely catching your breath and going straight to the left leg, okay? That means you won't be able to hit the left side as hard as you did the right. So you really need to kind of fully recover between legs, okay, when you're doing this particular exercise. All right, guys, one-legged glute bridges are a much more difficult way of doing the traditional two-legged glute bridge. And the reason we're doing it that way is because a lot of you guys are not gonna have real heavy dumbbells to put on your, on your waist when you're doing glute bridges. And those are some strong muscles, okay? So first, before we use any dumbbells, I'm gonna show you how to do the correct form. Then I'm gonna show you how to do a drop set with dumbbells. So, a normal two-legged glute bridge is just back flat on the floor, okay? I got my feet flat on the ground nice little bend and normally all you do is just raise your pelvis up to the sky and then back down try not to touch your butt to the ground at the bottom of the movement okay all right so up high hold it for like a one count down and stop before you touch the ground okay so practice this movement guys just just a few times okay with just body weight okay you're gonna feel a ton of of stress and tension in your hamstrings, okay? And in your ass, okay? But I feel a lot of it here. So it's a great way to get your hamstrings, even though it's called a glute bridge, which is your butt. Now, let's add some difficulty and show you how to do it with one leg. So basically, you can, you know, you're gonna do one leg at a time, all right? Just like step ups, except I'm gonna keep one leg in the air, all right? I'm just gonna push up and down, up. And guys, the mind-muscle connection is you wanna focus on your hips coming up. Don't worry so much about this left leg, okay? It's just gonna kinda of follow along, okay? I don't care, you know, if it's down here, okay? Or if you, if you like to hold it up higher. It doesn't matter, that's, that's not doing any of the work, okay? It's taking your body weight off of both legs and placing it all on one leg when we're doing them one at a time. Now, to make it even more difficult, and with the drop set, I'm gonna add a dumbbell. All right, so I just put the dumbbell right here in my waist. It doesn't hurt, it's no big deal, and I'm just gonna hold it with my hands in place. All right, all right, so same exact movement up in the air. Two, three, four, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. So to lower the weight, back over here, back on my waist. All right. Try not to rest too much in between. One, two, three, four. All right, let's drop it one more time. That'll make it a double drop set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five
One. Same side, same leg. Two. Three. Four. Five. Okay, so <clears throat> just like with the step ups when we're doing one leg at a time, I want you guys to take plenty of time to catch your breath and get a rest before we move over to the other leg. Now, this exercise is not nearly as tiring as step ups because we're using far fewer muscles, okay? We're basically using no muscles in our upper body. And that's why I'm not so out of breath. I can talk to you guys immediately after doing a drop set. So, fantastic way to really hit your hamstrings and your glutes at the same time and up the intensity with our home workout. The final exercise in our leg workout today is squats with bands. Now guys, I have a nice little heavy duty hook embedded into this piece of 4x4 which is anchored to my concrete floor. You don't have that at home, right? You're going to have an anchor though in the door. All right, So this is just the low anchor technique at the bottom of your door, identical. Okay. Now, the trick, guys, to starting this is to get all the weight on here, okay, and the resistance you're going to have to experiment with. There's no way to do it with, you know, dumbbells and weight that's easy, okay? You're just going to have to kind of figure it out. And then be sure and write it down so the next time you do this exercise, you won't have to go through this process all over again, all right? So, a lot of people can't figure out how to get into the starting position for a squat with bands, and this is the trick, guys. You, you get down, okay, first of all, you have to kind of center the handles, okay, all right, and then you get down on your knees, all right, look at this, all right, so knees over my shoulders right here, okay, and then all I'm going to do is step up one at a time, all right, very straightforward, so now I'm in a good squatting start position, my, see how wide my feet are, okay, you don't want your feet together, right? You want a nice wide base and your toes need to be pointed out slightly, okay? All right, so I'm just gonna go traditional squat technique. I'm looking straight ahead. I'm going as deep as I can, as my body will let me, and I'm pretty flexible, all right? And I don't have a lot of joint problems, so I can go pretty deep, all right? If you guys can't go all the way down, that's fine. But I want you to knock out at least 10 to 12, all right? Now, if it's too easy, if you can't get enough band resistance, you're gonna have to go more. You're gonna have to maybe go up to 20 reps or so. All right, so get to a place where you're near fatigued, okay? And then I'm just gonna let them go. And I'm gonna drop the weight by taking a band off each side, same color, obviously, on each side. And then I gotta get back down on my knees to start off, all right? Now that looks a little complicated, but that was probably less than 10 seconds overall. Now normally, all right, we'd have enough weight all right, that you would be fatigued at five or six reps. All right, now I'm not going to go all the way to fatigued because you don't want to see me do a ton of these, all right? All right, so let's just pretend that I got to a place where I couldn't do hardly any more. I'm going to take one more band off, the same color on both sides. This is the drop in the resistance. You got to get down on your knees to start, easiest way to get in position, and then finish it up. All right, guys. So you can see a little bit of sweat going here. I'm going to be out of breath once again. This is one of those exercises that is pretty much the, the big granddaddy of leg exercises, squats, right? So I really like to confuse the muscle by doing different types of squats. So 
in the next leg workout you're gonna see me doing dumbbell squats but it really does help to mix it up and use bands on some of these lower body exercises whenever you can so guys I want you to pick enough resistance with these bands and do enough reps every single time that you start feeling a burn okay that means that lactic acid is going and we're accomplishing what we're trying to do with drop sets and that is really get a good workout